All right, everybody, you're familiar with my normal bullshit, but now y'all get to get ready for the new bullshit. Who's ready for the new bullshit? Everybody? All right, new bullshit. Starting in five. Let's do it. We don't use you. What's up, King? How you doing, Palace? Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. The dark deed you've asked of me has been done, Mr. Krabs. Good job, Iron Fist. You did it. No, my nerd's dead. Showing us 336. 6.8 million wasn't enough for top 1500? Really? That's unfortunate. Sick for toys, thanks for the follow. What's up, Jack Daniels? Good to see you. 2-7 all in. Oof. That's that's rough because I got seven I I stopped at like 7-3. I was like, nah, I don't want to do anymore. My laziness is well known. I knew they were all low, but I didn't know how low they were. may call me Spearminto when will the next campaign event drop a week or two if they're gonna do it 7.9 million is 17 se oh no uh oh that means I don't think I got it oh well that's what I get for taking off today that's what I get for only doing like Eight blitz rotations. Surprising, too. Like seven five is the is my usual like that's that's where I'm gonna stop because that's usually what I get at three times a rotation. I get the one thousand percent or so. Um, but geez, man. Why do none of my guys do any damage? Oh no. If I'm 15, like 12, I'm gonna laugh hysterically. 7 5, usually the safe spot. I think I was like 7 3. And if I made it, it's just barely. Like, no confidence anymore. Uh, Namor, Human Torch, Thing, Nebula, Hydra Armored Guard, 
just make sure. Yep, that's right. Garbage. Annoying garbage. Let's take the garbage. However, if I get 1498, I'm going to be like, perfect. The least amount blitz for the top. Living in my fucking fantasy world. Uh, all of you dodge, so let's kill you. Interesting. It's interesting. I'm just surprised so many people needed rescue that high. I guess, okay, to be fair, a, she got a, uh, like a day two patch or something. It was like a week after she was released, they patched her and made her a little better. So I guess a lot of people might not have wailed on... What is Thing doing to poor Namor? Stop. Right, two more trash teams. And I don't know my trash teams, but I have a graphic for them. Do I need to know the Blitzerlands 1 and 2 story to watch? Yes, it's basically the same as this, except they didn't involve Reed Richards. Piece of shit. This tilts me. Richards! I've unfixed. I've untilted. Uh, what's up, Bets? Uh, one sec. While I remember what my teams are real quick. Because I never remember my teams. All right, it is the Hand Archer team. Okay, that's all I need to know for that. It is these guys, okay. <laughs> Jose Axe, thanks for the follow. Much appreciated, my friend. Oof. All right. I have no confidence in you. Wiki made 26. That's probably accurate. Wiki hit like 15 million, psychopath. prefer to surround myself with darkness. Look at the two guys who happened to be disrupted, by the way. It was the two guys who were about to get buffed. Piercing damage. Oh no, my taunts. Yes, you blinded Daredevil. You're great. You're gonna fill out your opening rotation score when you get through it. We see an understanding of how to fill it out. Yeah, of course. I have all my images up. Boom, boom. Yeah, no shit, JJ800. I'm so terrified to look at, like, what happens because I blitzed once today instead of my usual. I was like, I could blitz more, I could play other games and have fun. I thought I was great. I thought, like, 7.3 was enough. I thought wrong. Alright, what's my last garbage team? Ah, yes. The Aim Infectors. 
Actually, I think Korath qualifies up one. Is HBM on a on a B team? Sorry. I constantly have to check or else I'm gonna lose. And it was A team. Whoa. Point That's three. the sultry voice of my friend Pal. Uh what are we looking at? Oh, it's not loading. Alright. There it is. So what team is my last garbage team? How did I goof up this time? And the aim guys and hand sorcerers. Okay, so we'll just put ultimates on this team. And that should be fine. Bloodberry's massive wealth increases with every prize due plunders. Original Defrost, thanks for the sub. Going back to milestones only. Is it fair to say that OMG owes you a rescue offer since you took the time out of blitzing to make a video with him? No. That's mean. No. I made the choices. I missed. I intentionally chose not to do anything if I didn't get it. I was like, no, I'm not going to do anything. It wasn't anyone else's fault. God, this one's coming closer than I want it to. Don't forget the most important rule, just mash basic. What are the chances rescue will be added to the blitz store as a regular character? Not high. 40. Hey, I might be blitzing. Well, sometimes I just like have my phone out and I'll do a blitz rotation. Sometimes I don't even do full blitz rotation. Sometimes I'll just use like my top couple of teams when I feel like comfortable. All right, so we're done with the garbage. Now we have to start cherry picking out the slightly better garbage, question mark. All right, uh, this is Rhino, Electra, Scientist Supreme, America Chavez, and Bullseye. Where's Korath on this list? Interesting. Where's my Korath? Oh, I don't use him. All right, well, he goes here now. Korath and... Uh, what's Scientist Supreme? Sure. Nope. Also, nope. Maybe. Found gaming, you motherfucker. Is there a pattern to when the double character star 24 hours events? Uh, Tuesday or Wednesday usually of the character offer. Like Tuesday or Wednesday of the day that it's coming out. Stark, how does it feel to be loathed more than hey, doomed? gorgeous. Fallon, the greatest of all people. Fallon, the guy who has single-handedly saved me hours upon hours of headaches regarding, uh, like, stream setup. Phew. Oh, no. Not 
Barry's massive wealth increases Whoa. with every prize you Hiowa. win. Whoa, thank you so much for the sub. Always appreciate it. You're dead. You. And dead. Fair trade for my improved Blitz performance. Hey, hey. Don't go spreading rumors about me being good at Blitz. I don't want to hear it. JT bets at the nail on the head. Is there a reason you broke up Sinister Six? Yeah. Because half my Sinister Six is separate than the other half. Because I don't invest in characters equally. I invest in characters to accomplish certain tasks. Because uh, all teams together are not the best. Like, the actual Spider-Verse team is a fucking dumpster fire. But, like, Green Goblin and Miles alone are really good. And uh, Spider-Man and Miles are really... Or Green Like, Spider-Man is really good. And like, Carnage and Venom are really good together. But, like, as an entire team... Sinister Six, eh, depends on investment levels. All right, I'll have to use these guys again. Fuck me, I don't even know my own rotation. All right. Get one more win with them and then stop dealing with this shit. Oh man, now I'm seeing real fucking teams. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like any of this. You give you such a lovely shout out. I know, Fallon, and I love you for it. Did you clip the me, uh, did you clip the, the, the sound bite of me? What was I saying? It is the worst game mode in MSO. Hands down. Let's kill this war machine. Bye, bitch. And, uh, let's just work you down. No one here has debuffed me yet. I'm gonna send it to you. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't really mind Blitz personally, I just wanna get better at it. No, I understand, man. So, my, my problem with Blitz isn't that it's a bad game mode, it's that it's almost decidedly never worth the amount of time you you can spend. Like, there's a direct... Ooh, offense stuff on Korath. Let's see how this works out. You're dead. Uh, let's offense down you. You're dead. Oh, thanks, Scientist Supreme. You're the real MVP. Chunk. And the kill shot. Good job, Scientist Supreme. I'm proud of you. Don't forget to record Six Star Phoenix. I'm not going to let you forget. 56 six Smart. Uh, yeah, I want to get better, but it also feels like such a gap that it feels like the worst game mode. No, it's worse the worst game mode. Come on now. <laughs> like, what's not? There's no good game mode. It's all just varying degrees of misery. <laughs> Alright, these guys are done. What's my next B team that I never remember? Ant-Man, Wasp, Merc, Lieutenant, Nobu, Hand Assassin. Alright. Ant-Man, Wasp. I'll just use Electra. Where's my hand assassin? God, Nobu is so bad that I'm considering using hand assassin over. Does this create disparity that I don't want to deal with? No, Nobu is that bad. Alright, what do we got? We got... Captain Marvel, no, Captain Marvel. We'll take the no Captain Marvel team for 800, Alex. Check your blitz rank, Tony. I'm not going to, I'm terrified of it. I'm terrified if I'm if I'm like 1515 because I just didn't do anything today. One more question. You have a video somewhat about Blitz team building theory behind the sample teams? Uh, yes and no. My YouTube channel, uh, I'm uploading them slowly. Thanks to Mobile Gamer who has convinced me to do YouTube stuffs. I reached I released part one and part two of my Blitz series. More of like I would recommend watching them, obviously because they're my videos. Uh, but I would recommend watching them. Thank you so much for the follow, Rumblefish. Uh, I would recommend it because it tells you the philosophy. So, like, if you get a little lost or confused, uh, then, like, you'll be like, oh, no, all right, this is kind of what he was talking about. So, like, the first video really goes into detail about, like, what my idea of, like, how to succeed in Blitz is, and everything is based off that. The second one is a little bit more, like, meh. It's, it's how I rate teams and what I qualify certain teams as. Um, 
So like it could be helpful depending on what you do. Uh, and the third video, the one that I'm, I'm releasing either tonight or tomorrow, bye Wasp, I'll miss you, uh, is the one that's going to go into a little bit more detail on uh, how to cherry pick teams and what, uh, where to place them and how you want to use them. Let's kill this dude. All right, this sucked. Foot dive is the YouTube follows. We got top 27 in Blitz, what a scam. Facts, group pool, thanks for the follow. Group pool, I know that name. So just checking my rotation, that was the B2. I'm going into three, I use this team again. Multiman, thank you so much for the follow, much appreciated. Uh, which of these teams don't scare me? I usually, well, guys, that's why I do my reviews live, so I can ask you questions that may come up during the review. Uh... Alright, let's kill Miles. Oh no, Spider Man is capable of dodging. Twice. Get fucked. Yo, if you res one more time. Pew! Pew! Bye, Merc Lieutenant. Thanks for the memories. I do! I do, in fact, have my very own Discord server. I actually don't read quest text, it's very factual. It's kind of a thing about me. It took me like nine months to figure out that Doctor Strange applied uh, defense down. Like, with his special. I was like, oh, really? I th thought it was random. Like, I, I don't read quest text. Alright. 3 1, we use B1. Alright, and B1. I'm afraid of what I have here. It is Green Goblin, Winter Soldier, Thor, Cable, Mantis. All right, that's not good. No one cares what you have to say. Go fuck yourself. Man, if we had more fucking save slots, I wouldn't have to do this. Thanks for the pittance of five you're going to give us, too. Mantis, her positioning doesn't really matter. He says, knowing it's going to matter, and I'm going to regret saying that. Where's Winter Soldier? Sure. Go ahead, garbage team. Aww. I punch down against power armor? Like, anything's better than fighting Minerva and Captain Marvel, so, like, let's give it a shot. No confidence whatsoever. Whatever. I stand to lose nothing. What's up with the rest is crazy people, Crashfish? How you been? What's up, Crashfish? Uh, hey, Tony, I would appreciate you reaching me about my Google Sheet you reskinned. I'm sorry, Groot. I'm sorry about about uh, what I what I did for the sheet that you took from my friend Demon Suji that he took from my other friend Clickachu. 
And all and my sheets have been uh, upgrading with them too. But I give credit where credit's due on all my sheets. I will give you 100% credit. You did something that no one else did before that, and that was saving uh, saving uh, ranges. Saved ranges has made that 100% easier. This is exactly what I thought was going to happen. That was just a rough tier series of matchups. It's okay. We have to use another fight, and I do have a team built in in case I lose up to two fights, so... Oh man, look. Infinitely easier. Nah, he's fine. I'm moving off of the sheet soon. I have the website ready to go. As soon as the API is up. Sheets are great tools, though. The work is a complete new sheet, new coding layout. Your customization is nice for sure, but I appreciate to talk about it. Yeah, I'd absolutely love to talk about uh, what you've done. Message me on Discord.
We're using this three times. Yep, okay. This is the worst part of Blitz. Dealing with these garbage early teams. <clears throat> Uh, not, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. A lot of stuff in, 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 in different versions of, of uh, the sheet are just generic words that I've thrown in there. Uh, yeah, it, I, I, I haven't done a self-sustaining system yet. It is, a lot of it is, well, the main reason why, just to, so to paint a picture for a bunch of people, um, I've been doing this in Blitz, and I've been using, like, mo I keep modifying sheets. I'm using a sheet for about nine months, give or take. I was using, uh, me and my friend, uh, my friend Demon Suji, when, when Clickachu stopped working on it, me and Demon Suji, uh, chatted about, like, what we could make changes to, and then he went ahead and he made a bunch of changes to a sheet, and then I took his, and I started ripping stuff out I didn't like. And I've been using, basically, spreadsheet-based rosters uh, just to kind of keep track of my own stuff. And as time progressed, you know, either people in my alliance or people on my stream were like, hey, what is, what is that? And I'm like, well, it's, it's just how I keep track of certain things for Blitz or for working on characters. And, uh, and then actually with, uh, you know, uh, I Am Groot's from, the, from Deadpool 4, with his sheet, when his sheet came out, it kind of fine-tuned a, a lot of stuff that uh, I was, like, banging my head against the wall for. So I just like started from scratch again, uh, kind of like looking at what he did and again ripping out stuff I didn't like or, or stuff I, that wasn't useful for what I was using, um, uh, what I was using the sheet for, and just kind of progressed from that point. So there's a lot, like the sheet was never meant to be, uh, here guys, take it, use it, you will succeed with it. Never, it's never been that point. It's always been a design feature for people who ask me about, like, well, what am I like? How do I do well in Blitz? I would then go ahead and use like like my cop my version of a sheet and say like here's the information you need to do this is what i recommend here's how it works and that kind of thing it's not very self-sustaining uh and it's not designed to be and i i don't i never intended it to be uh and i don't know if i'm ever going to because by the time i i spend any amount of effort making that kind of of, of sheet uh i anticipate we'll have access to an api so i'm not I'm not, I'm like, there, I'm min-max, so like I'm gonna use the minimum amount of effort to create the maximum amount of value for myself and for people who, I, who like ask me for help. So once an API comes out, 
uh, all of the effort that comes into the, the, the sheet, like, I'm, I'm just going to be able to translate it into a, into an application, like an, like an, an app or whatever it is. Um, think like Clayton HQ, except good and useful. You're dead. Oh. McCraddocks, thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Pew. This is like my least favorite Blitz team. This is guys I own dot team. I'm not use Clan HQ. What's wrong with it? Nothing's wrong with it. But if, like, in the exact same conversation, what's right with it? Like, what does it do that you require in the app? It, it's it's like, all right. So you're talking to somebody who spends a lot of time filling out and like working on spreadsheets. So if I'm gonna want to fill out individual information for each character that exists, right? Whether it's through like msf.gg's tool or um, I could use another. I have to use this fight again. Uh, one behind, yeah. Okay. Whether we well, yeah, like whether it's msf.gg's tool or a, anyone's spreadsheet, mine, Grizzles, Deadpool's. Pipsquill Combs, thanks for the raid. Much appreciated, man. Pipsquill, thanks for the follow. Have it, have it at. Uh, like, I just... Look, I get it, and it's cool. And those guys are really cool, and they're trying to push something that's okay. But, like, for my money, what the fuck am I going to use Clan HQ for? Why am I going to manually enter all my characters in? And then before anyone mentions anything about API, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes has an API. They have a website called swgoh.gg that pulls your information by PID. And Clan HQ does not populate for that game. So until you have a somewhat reliable API pull system, I, I you know, you're basically just line app. Um, but you don't offer a, a thing for me that is enticing, you know? I don't need another method to communicate with my, with the community in general. We have Discord, we have line for people who use that. You know, we have Facebook. I, I don't need a place that I'm going to spend time and effort on. As a matter of fact, I'm on Clan HQ, and my account is like nine 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 because I could just put whatever I want. So, like, what does it matter? All Spark Rex wasn't sure how much work they have to do on their end to make it happen. It's close. It's it's so. Here's the thing, man. Like, you got to answer a question, right? It, it has to do something. So, what does it want to do? What does Clan HQ want to accomplish? Does it want to be, uh, if anyone remembers Raptor, if it wants to be Raptor, it's got a little ways to go. If it wants to be, uh, you know, Discord, but a, a super comfortable app, it's it's got a little ways to go. And the second it, it reaches that point, I'll be I'll be glad to use it. it looks super fun, but until that point, I don't fucking care. I have a line in Discord. Thanks when I have played MCOF last year. Yeah, like, there are some games, and honestly, you can kind of, it's like the same conversation with, like, TeamSpeak and, like, Vent. Like, I, like, for a long time, I was, like, when I was playing, when I got back into WoW after, like, a year off, I was like, all right, this is my Vent information, what's your TeamSpeak? And they're like, dude, we don't use those anymore. I'm like, what? What do you mean we don't use this for World of Warcraft? What changed? I, like, obviously, the most important thing is once an API comes out and it can pull your data... Then we could start evaluating the information and like what it can offer. But until that point, what are we what are we really getting? All right, let's use this team one more time. All right, I truly don't trust this team. I'm going to use the next one one more time. Use that in fifth. Yeah, like like. My big here's my only complaint with line. Line is like almost there, right? My complaint with line is that I can't be logged in on multiple accounts. 
So like if I have Wine on my phone, I can't have the same app on my computer, it'll kick me out and it won't save the fucking data. Why? Why is that the technology that you that you require when I can have Discord on both? Like I So when it comes to like what you need, you know, what if I don't have my phone on me but I'm sitting on my computer? What if I don't have my computer on me but I'm sitting on my phone? Which of these teams is less terrifying? This one. Yeah. I still have my line. Like, I still, like, from the old days, from uh, from my old guild, my old alliance in this game, we were, they were, like, super hard on line because they came from Galaxy of Heroes and shit. And they're like, this is what we use for MCOC and Galaxy of Heroes. I'm like, fuck it. Like, what am I going to do? Am I going to do tell you you're wrong? No, that's fine. I'm going to need you to get cancer real fucking quick. Oh, thanks for making this easier. Telling them they're wrong sounds like the thing, Tony. <laughs> Don't shy from your destiny. Tell who, who who's wrong. It was different. I wasn't emboldened back then. I was still a new player. I didn't know anything about the game. And I was in an alliance that was, like, at the time, one of the stronger alliances in the game. So, like, they, like, a friend of mine reached out and was like, good job, Carnage. 120k. Uh, so they were just like, hey man, you pretty good roster and you, you kind of know what you're doing. Like, you, you want to jump in our, our A squad? I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. And it helped, man. But it was still weird. Like, I, I didn't, I thought that, like, gauging the metrics of how good your alliance is doing by damage was still a good way to determine how well you guys were doing. It's not. It's, it's decidedly not. It's a terrible way to gauge how strong you should do nodes. None of these fights are good. But one of these fights isn't defenders. Defenders is too rough. I'll take my chances with this fight. I get two attempts with this team. To not fuck up. Telling them they are wrong sounds like the Tony thing to do. I'm shocking your destiny yet. And I'm 25 co uh, charges over, so I'm going to be at, like, ugh. I'm going to be very low. Ah, uh, thank you for picking the best possible target. Alright, I'm caught up. I don't have to do anything else. At the cost of 25 charges, I'm caught up. Right? I'm supposed to be at... 5-2. Yeah. This team was used here. Yep. Cool. Uh, Alright, let's finish it up. Now this is where I end my opening rotation. Should put me at like seven three, I think. This one doesn't have Minerva. <clears throat> Just 
Jurak34, thanks for the follow, man. Much appreciated. What do you think about the hot girl summer mess of a music video release? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, everyone's taunting. That's unfortunate. Good chunk. Certainly. I have no idea what you're talking about. Truly. None whatsoever. What in the fuck are these options? Whatever happened to garbage teams? Why are people trying to use Captain America and shit? You guys think of the three new characters they're gonna release? Betting money? Sue, because she's obviously one of them. We got Sue Storm, and then, like, safe, safe even money is, like, Graviton, but I I, I just, I, I've been burned by Colossus and Cy I'm not sorry, Cyclops and Cy Colossus before, that I'm just not even kind of interested in anything that they tell us about without a date. Sue Heimdall Korg, that'd be nice, but it's not going to be those characters. Confirm not those characters. Confirmed by me telling you right now. I would assume it's Graviton, but like... I would assume... If I had to make an assumption... First of all, I, I don't... I don't believe that we are getting Halloween-themed characters. I believe that they might do a Halloween theme for the characters, like they did with the Deadpool when they released him and gave him a different costume, and they changed Storm's uh, model, but I, I don't believe we're getting Halloween-themed characters. It'd be great, it'd be great to see someone like Blade or Ghost Rider, Jack-o'-lantern. I just don't think it's happening. Squirrel Girl, every time. Could be a Frozen Dick character. Oh, I would love it. Like, Iceman was who I expected to be the next X-Men. I don't, I don't, know why beast is so popular in conversation but like for all for everything i've heard it was iceman but you know all right. am i still a fight behind i'm still a fight behind huh all right it's fine i did lose a fight i didn't make up for it everything's fine we're fine this is fine We need a mutant healer. Well, if you look at it like a modular team, right? Like, they need a healer so that they could become a uh, raid team. And it can't be Phoenix. So they need someone to replace Phoenix, which sucks because then you don't have Phoenix's base damage upgrade. So they don't really need anything. Like, they're a great team. Not every team needs to be great at everything. Um, so I'm okay with them just being really good at war and... Uh, Uh, arena. Fantastic Four! That's a team I'd, I'd start imagining they're gonna start dumping other characters into to uh, make them good for other modes. Uh, Heldica Wright, thank you for the follow, man. Much appreciated. Mutant Healer, Elixir? No. Unnecessary, thank you. <coughs> Beast is passable as a healer. Like, Beast could be a brawler or a controller or a support. Like, he's a very well-rounded character from comic books, so, like, 
There's no right or wrong choices when it comes to him. Tony, what's the last Hickman X-Men comic you read this current story? What are your current thoughts? Uh, I read the most recent one. I read four. Um, the one where we got Sinister back, and I'm like, spoilers. And I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> like, what are you trying... I, 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 I can't really be too critical of this event. I was super hyped for it. It started off, and I was really liking it. And now I'm just like, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here. I don't know what long-term plan you're setting up, and honestly, it's starting to lose my attention. Thank God it's only a 12-issue series among two six-parters, or two different six-parters, so, like, I'm not going to be miserable. A lot of people mentioned that Phoenix and Colossus were awesome in U7 because you don't use Phoenix's special unless you really need to. Therefore, you have to revive once. Did you have a similar experience I, in my U7? I didn't, touch, I didn't use Phoenix. I just Ultron and Captain Marvel all the way. But, like, Phoenix is an absolutely phenomenal raid character. Like, like 10 out of 10 would recommend. She's so good. You just have to also spend charges to make her good. Like, what's the cost of, of refreshing her? It's 50 or so raid heals that you have, right? Okay, so you've refreshed her, uh, and now, like, what happened? Well, you, you won the fucking fight, because Phoenix is ridiculous. So, like, if the cost of losing the sustainability is gaining the fact that you're going to nuke a node that otherwise you'd have a hard time with... Like, what's the fucking... What, like, why even bother? My theory I heard from issue 2 of House of X. This is more of his 10th life. Regular six, 16 is, is 11. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. This is how I use my Phoenix, right? I click the autoplay button and I watch the greatest movie of my Phoenix carrying my incredibly weaker X-Men team to victory whenever she wants. Totem, Totem Stick, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. using my bathroom break team. Aw, oh, Phoenix killed herself. That's not fun. <coughs> Doing a great movie, including Phoenix currently. Oof. Savage. Savage name run. Uh, my theory is Marvel hypes it up and shits the bed and completely lets everyone down. I am. I am the thickness. Yeah. You do. Looking at Discord messages I've gotten from some people. Man, the envoys are having a real blast. Power armor. So I. What is this guy's name? Fatal Error 827. There's a rocket here. I'll take that team. I do have a husband, factual. What do you want to know? What they're doing? I can't tell you. Can I, t I can tell you one thing. It's nothing to do with Marvel Strike Force. I can't tell you because I was told by them and out of respect. I was told by an envoy and out of respect. Uh, and they, they were like, please don't you know mention it. And I'm like, okay. If you tell me something and ahead of time say, don't tell people, I'll be like, okay. Like, I, I respect that. Um, I don't need to do anything else anymore, right? No, these guys will figure it out. Trying some new characters, apparently. I think I gave Chewburger a heart attack earlier. Unrelated. Unrelated, no. I think I gave him a heart attack when I just came into his stream. Someone asked the question I answered, and he was like, fuck! fucking yeeted right off that shit. I was like, nope, never mind. Alright, so I'm gonna finish a turn behind but on par for attacks, I believe.
Oh, Snake's trying to butter them up. I mean, they're they they're not trying to butter up the people that they've convinced to be envoys for them. Like that's not like they they. How do you butter up somebody that agrees to make commercials for you? Like they've already made the agreement. They've already signed it. Like there's nothing else Fox Next has to do and to do that. They're just you know. Do you use max refreshes for each team? No. No, not even at all. Actually, you're going to see what I do, and it's going to probably scare you a little bit. So it, it's different per person. Uh, don't look at what I do and be like, clearly this is how to succeed in Blitz, because I'm insane, and I do a lot of crazy shit. Um, but in general, I power through my first rotation in about an hour and 10 minutes, right? So I'm almost done. We have like, what, two minutes left. Uh, I took a little bit of downtime in this blitz. I'm getting better. My first rotation rotation's an hour. And it all, it all comes down to your opening rotation. Like that's, the opening rotation sets the stage for how much effort you have to put into a blitz. Uh, I, I do the Thursday blitz. I go hard for the opening rotation and then I blitz three times a day. Uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that usually lines me up in top. But uh, I do, like, spend the time here making sure I get both my attacks in. I'm also in a time zone that has a crunch, right? So, like, here, let me let me show you. Uh, boom. Fury Show can beat this team. Uh, basically... The, the general rule of thumb is, at the beginning of your rotation, um, use charges on teams that can't win early so that your teams that can win, that can't win later, use charges early on teams that can't win later so that you end up in the uh, stages where you would normally use charges on those teams faster. So you get more attacks in with those teams. You get at least one free attack in with those teams, like this team right here. Um, by the time I'm done with this, I'm going to be in the 8 multiplier, and uh, the charges I used earlier on the garbage teams are functionally giving me a free attack with these guys in my second rotation. Uh, so I'm, I'm getting away with using charges. You're, you're borrowing from Peter to pay Paul, or you're, you're stealing time, which is incredibly important, uh, because you have to steal time if you're in uh, the U.S. or any of the Americas. Uh, Australia, you you have a finite amount of time before you can finish claiming, and you'll you'll see at the end of this where I'm at. My opening rotation usually go like the opening part of this, like this part, is probably going to get me to about maybe eight hundred thousand points or something. Uh, nothing crazy, um, but this isn't where I start spending my charges. I start spending my charges to pad the scoreboard rather. Should I tier 13 my Captain Marvel? Yes, that is the answer to that question whenever it's asked. Follow up, if you ask if you should tier 13 Ultron or Phoenix, the answer will also be yes. They are great characters. Any of my S tier characters uh, would love to be gear tier 13. <sighs> Fury Shield fucking sucks. They're not, like, not that they're a bad team, they just, it takes forever to fucking use them. S tier characters, where can we find these? I have no idea. It's that way there. Hey, Tony, missed the top 1,500 again by 1,100k points. Dish, whoop, how many points did you have? I swear to God, please. Because I, I stopped at 7.3 and it was just like, I'm not blitzing at all today. Or I'm, I'm not blitzing after I did my one. 7.1 million? Yes! <laughs> I'm sorry, that sounded so shitty. It means that there is a 0% chance that I lived the perfect dream, which is... Uh, I did the absolute least possible I could do and squeaked in at like 1400 something.
Oh, my Captain Marvel doesn't fuck around. It was the defense down, brother. The Loki Captain Marvel combo uh, is a guaranteed one shot kill on almost any character in the game. Uh, a thing with a full Fantastic Four won't die. A Gear Tier 13, 7 Red Star Thanos won't die. And for some reason, a fucking Kingpin won't die. But the Loki Captain Marvel combo will pretty much kill any character in the game. Been tickering with your team currently using. I see why you like it. The one I'm using right here, I fucking love this team, man. <laughs> like, it, like, once you eliminate the biggest threat from the other team, you could just fuck up all the time and still get victories. It's really, it's really strong. Ultron with offense up against Punisher with defense down and defense up and defense down hits for like 240k. Yeah, there's a weird little thing with Ultron. Ultron does double damage based on whether or not the character has uh, defense up. It literally just doubles his his damage. Um, if the character has defense up and defense down, they cancel each other out, but Ultron still does double damage. So Ultron will hit for like 220k or crit for like 250k. It's absolutely fucking savage. Just little fun, fun little things. Uh, who's the biggest threat on this team? It's probably Quake, but I don't want it, so we're going to pretend he's the biggest threat. Oh, thank God, Night Nurse. What, well, you ready to play MSF 2.0? Uh, Marvel Strike Force is a great game, and then immediately upon completing getting Ultron, you start playing Marvel Strike Force 2.0, which is now that I have Ultron, what's different? And it's like, well, the good news is you don't have to worry so much about beating other Ultrons because you just have Ultron, and that's usually part of the course. Sitting at 1.8 million TCP and can't wait for my roster review. Some cool to me. Yeah, you sent me your stuff, right? I have I have the the slots for next week I think filled already, but I'm gonna have to start messaging people over the weekend to let them know like these are the days I plan on using. Oh, I'm gonna come just shy in this blitz. That sucks. I swear I messed up and I didn't do one fight I was supposed to. Worst things have happened. We'll be fine. No, that's right. Okay, no, so I'm, I'm at the right point. I just am one thing behind. All right, that's fine. Worst things have happened, we'll, we'll pull through. Gotcha. I'm eight, 13 items away from starting since I returned in May. Yeah, man. Dope. Uh, who are you bringing, Nemron? Watch me lose this fight. Ah, oh, Piranha with his like fourth victory in Fear the Darkness. So, evidently, source reporting Sony gonna cave to Disney, Spidey back, in, and get 30%. In one condition, they put Venom into the MCU as well. What sources? Link me. Because uh, that means someone at Sony got fired. Because there was a person at Sony who was, who was like, all over social media being like, not gonna fucking happen, fucking fuck. By the way, none of that shit's real. Like, Disney didn't come out and make demands. Sony didn't didn't wasn't neither of them were being greedy disney made them an offer they're like hey what if we helped you with all of your videos we split spending and we split the profit share that was the offer that was like legit release like and sony's like no and i'm like cool 
easy with my 4S teams compared to the other tiers for some reason. Uh, is it because you see commander teams? Sometimes you get the, sometimes you get luck in commander teams. All right, so I am according to my sheet. Uh, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. Am I at Blitz Charge Wine? No, I'm a little bit better actually. Somehow I'm better than I'm supposed to be, right? My math is right on this. No, I'm a hair worse. I'm 175 spent. Okay, so we're gonna. Now that we're in there, we're gonna go ahead and claim this shit. We've end the opening part of the rotation. Oh. 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 My heart. My heart. 